The old city of Dubrovnik is amongst the most beautiful in all of the Adriatic. But this scene once wasn't so idyllic. In fact, Dubrovnik was under siege for many months beginning in October of 1991. Subsequently, the waters around Dubrovnik still contain the explosive remnants of war. Explosive remnants of war, or ERW, are a significant problem in both land and maritime environments. Whether it is from sunken naval vessels carrying ordnance, munitions placed near coastal regions, or unexploded shells from naval and aerial operations, areas exist around the world where it is deemed unsafe due to the concealed remnants of past conflicts. Until recently, the Department of Defense Humanitarian Mine Action Program's primary focus was to build partner nation capability to clear land-based explosive remnants of war. The Humanitarian Demining Training Center has trained over 1,800 U.S. military personnel to in turn provide HMA instruction to foreign military and civilian personnel in 45 ERW-affected countries since 1996. The goal is to assist partner nations in establishing an indigenous HMA capability that is self-sufficient, effective, and sustainable while promoting U.S. interests. The difficulty of operating in the maritime environment, however, often requires unique methods for locating and classifying submerged remnants of war. For maritime operations, one asset presently available is the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program. The Mark 7 Marine Mammal System employs bottlenose dolphins to search for, detect, mark, and neutralize mines. This system operates in water depths from beyond 1,000 feet into the surf zone, as well as in ports and in harbors. Dolphins with their sophisticated biological sonar are particularly well suited for precision mine hunting in the most difficult, highly cluttered acoustic environments, including those of the near shore zone. Currently supporting mine hunting operations, marine mammal systems provide the U.S. Navy's only capability for detecting, marking, and neutralizing buried mines. U.S. Navy marine mammal systems have deployed all over the world and have participated in numerous humanitarian ERW deployments. Along with NATO Mine Clearance Forces, the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program was a participant in Lagoon Mine X-09, an exercise in the French Pacific Territory of New Caledonia to clear munitions from sites that were mined during World War II to protect the island from Japanese invasion. The Dolphins worked designated areas as well as alongside unmanned underwater vehicle or UUV groups, detecting and localizing numerous targets. In 2012 and 2013, the DOD HMA and the Department of State's Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, which provides conventional weapon destruction assistance, including landmine clearance programs worldwide, invited the U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Program Mine Hunting Dolphins to the Balkan Peninsula to search for remnants of 20th century wars which had been fought in the areas around Boca Bay in Montenegro and the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia. The DOD HMA program and the State Department's Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement also contributed funding for these deployments. The area you see behind me is known as Boca Bay. It's in the nation of Montenegro. While Montenegro is still a fairly new country, it's seen its fair share of armed conflict. As a result, there are areas in these waters that still contain the explosive remnants of warfare. It's for this reason that the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program was selected to be an important member of Exercise Dolphin 2012. Along with divers from Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit 1 in San Diego, California, members of the Slovenian and Croatian military, and of course our partners from the Montenegrin Navy, we've been tasked with identifying the location of these difficult to find objects. For the HMA operations, six mine hunting dolphins transported from San Diego to the Balkans on a U.S. Air Force C-17 provided by the 729th Airlift Squadron. Upon arrival, the animals are housed in floating enclosures near their work areas. Technical and veterinary support for the Marine Mammal Program is provided by civilian experts from the Biosciences Division of Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center Pacific, based in San Diego, California. The civilian trainers, veterinarians, and veterinary technicians train as human dolphin teams and transport with the animals to work in operational areas. Once on site, the animals and their human teammates begin working in designated areas, searching for remnants of past wars. 
Dolphins are transported to the work area in the small boats like the ones you see behind us. They ride in a soft rubber pad and then are placed in the water to begin their search operations. Once in the water, they'll be transferred over to control in another small craft. The dolphin will search the areas in front and adjacent to the boat, and when the dolphin discovers an item of interest, he'll touch a small paddle on the side of the boat. At that point, the dolphin will be given a marker he'll place next to the item so that it can later be identified and localized with the divers. Designated threat areas during the 2012 operation in Montenegro were covered exclusively by the dolphins. But in 2013, search areas were covered first by magnetometer and side scan sonar groups, which then handed possible contacts off to the mammal group for further investigation. The marine mammal systems have a very small footprint on the water, providing them the opportunity to move in tightly cluttered areas like cruise ship terminals, against quay walls, and near piers. If the animals confirmed the presence of an object, divers were sent with underwater cameras to document the contact. This machine mammal man strategy maximizes the best qualities of each asset when searching large segments of the ocean. The Navy Dolphin's ability to work alongside sophisticated electronic equipment like unmanned underwater vehicles, side scan sonar, and magnetic anomaly detectors makes them a force multiplier greatly reducing the bottom time required by follow-on divers. During the operations in Montenegro and Croatia, numerous contacts were identified by the animals and then checked by various dive teams. Contact location, including latitude and longitude, underwater still images, and video of the contacts were then compiled for future use by remediation forces. This location database with the associated underwater video files and ordnance descriptions is crucial in prioritizing ERW clearance efforts. The GPS database will help expedite each host nation's national efforts to eliminate underwater ERW threats to the civilian population and valuable enterprises. The dolphin's unsurpassed ability to detect and mark targets buried under the seafloor can provide great peace of mind to developing economies which have seen past conflict, like the one here in the port of Dubrovnik, Croatia. While deployed, U.S. Navy Marine mammal professionals also provide a unique opportunity to engage in a special kind of public diplomacy with our animals. Marine mammal specialists interfacing with local youth groups and schools, as well as the regional media, helped promote America's peaceful and humanitarian policies while teaching about the need for good stewardship of the oceans and the animals that live in them. For deployments, dolphins can be housed aboard amphibious assault ships and in specially designed inflatable shipboard pools, or they can operate from land-based pools or floating enclosures. They have the ability to operate in extreme environments, as warm as Bahrain in the summer and as cold as Alaska in the winter. Over the past 40 years, the marine mammal systems have been deployed to operations in Korea, Vietnam, Lithuania, Newfoundland, the mainland United States, Hawaii and Alaska, Kuwait, Norway, Denmark, Germany and Australia. The most recent operational deployments were to Bahrain, Iraq, New Caledonia, Montenegro and Croatia. Marine mammals are a proven and effective component within the Navy's mine hunting operations. By identifying and cataloging munitions in the Balkans, the Mammal Program, along with the Department of Defense's Humanitarian Mine Action Program and the State Department Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement help to safeguard that region's trade and tourism industry while also greatly enhancing public safety and awareness in the waters of the Adriatic. These missions promoted and improved the United States, Montenegrin, Croatian and Slovenian navies' interoperability while at the same time providing a service which greatly benefited the local populations. The results these missions have achieved clearly justify future Department of Defense, Department of State, HMA collaborative efforts and will bolster underwater ERW clearance efforts throughout the world. It's a reality that areas like this exist not only in Montenegro, but in areas that had previously seen conflict. The special capabilities of the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program opens a new chapter in a solution for this long-standing problem. Transitioning these unique mine countermeasures capabilities to address ERW underwater munitions is a natural extension of the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program mission.